God had chosen Abraham to be the father of a large family, a great nation through whom God would bless the entire world. Abraham was 75 years old when he obeyed God's call to go to a new land. He left his home in Haran with his wife Sarah, his nephew Lot, and all of his possessions and servants. They traveled to the land of Canaan. God reminded Abraham of his promise. Abraham and Lot moved throughout the land. Finally, Abraham decided to separate from his nephew Lot because the land could not support all of their people and animals at the same time. So Lot chose where he would live near a city called Sodom, and Abraham went to Hebron. In those days, four kings in the area got together and fought a war against five other kings, including the king of Sodom, where Lot lived. In the end, the four kings won against the five. Their armies took everything, all the goods and people, from the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. The kings even captured Lot and then went on their way. One survivor found Abraham and told him what had happened. Abraham gathered together 318 men, and they went after the four kings. Abraham's small army attacked the kings and their armies at night, defeated them, and chased them off. Abraham brought back Lot, many possessions, and also many people. When Abraham returned from the battle, Melchizedek, the king of Salem, came to Abraham. Melchizedek was a priest to God Most High. Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, God has blessed Abraham. Let everyone bless God who created heaven and earth because he has handed over Abraham's enemies. Then Abraham gave Melchizedek a gift, one-tenth of everything he had. Melchizedek means king of righteousness. Melchizedek reminds us of Jesus, an even greater priest and king who lives forever. Jesus died on the cross and rose again to bless all who trust in him by providing forgiveness and eternal life. <laughs>